All right, in this next example, we're looking given a domain, we want to find out what the range is. So I'm going to start with this function. We're going to say p equals 5 minus 2q. So in this example, our input is our q, which is the domain, and our range is going to be our p values. The easiest way to do this is to go ahead and make your table. Um, Right? We're used to seeing x and y a lot, but that's okay. Those are just variables. They stand for the domain and the range here. The input, what is the output? So I'm going to go ahead and start with my negative 2 and plug it in for q here. So when I plug in negative 2 times negative 2, I get a positive 4 plus 5 is 9. When I plug in a negative 1, this negative and this negative, once again, make it positive. So I get a positive 2 and a 5, and I end up with 7. When I plug in 0, I get 0. So I'm just left with my 5 here. I plug in my 1, I end up with negative 2 times my 1 is negative 2 plus 5. I end up with a positive 3. When I plug in 2, I get negative 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus my 4 there is going to end up with 1. So my range is going to be my p-values of 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. Pretty simple stuff here.